You say that there is no God. No, I'm saying I, I don't believe in. I don't have any proof, reason to believe in God. So you're like a agnostic, would you say? Well, how do you define agnostic? Someone who has a lack of belief in God, not someone who says outright there is no God. And yeah, you can say agnostic. I, I don't have any good reason to believe in God. I don't believe there is God. I can't say to you that there definitely is no God. Because then you can say to me, prove it. God. I'm an agnostic atheist. I don't know God and I don't believe there is a God. And do you think this is a rational position to hold? Me personally, yes. All right, how are you doing today, Charles? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. So you're having a conversation earlier. You said you're an agnostic atheist? Yes, I'm an agnostic atheist. Okay. So uh, can you explain what that means? Um, agnosticism is no, about knowing things, and I don't know everything. And atheism is a lack of belief, sufficient evidence in a God. So that's, I fall under that. And would you say that you believe this is a rational position? For me, yes. And how did you arrive at this position? I didn't see any evidence or sufficient evidence that there is a deity or deities. And that led you to the position that you're in now by the fact that there's a lack of evidence you're going to the position that there is no God. I never said there is no God, there might be a God, I just haven't had sufficient evidence to justify that there is a God. So you're, you're agnostic, you're not atheist. An atheist would say there's no God, you're an agnostic, you have a lack of belief in God. And I would disagree, atheism is about belief, agnosticism is about knowing. So a theist believes in a God, I am opposite to that. Sorry, we're having a one-to-one -one conversation. Oh, sorry, we can't hear it. Oh, okay, if you want to hear I it, it's fine. It. Okay, 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 no problem. Um, sorry, could you say that last thing so again? theist believes there is a God. I am a theist. I do not have sufficient evidence that there is a God. There may be a God, but there's an evidence for that. And I, I believe you. Okay, well, I don't really agree with that definition, but let's just ignore that. So, when it comes to, say, something like this tree behind us, right? And someone looking at the tree they could infer that there's a designer and someone like yourself would say that there's no designer so how would you arrive at the idea that there's no designer once again i never said there was no designer but can you show me evidence for a designer okay so would you say something like a tree something which has a consciousness something which has a sort of uh, not consciousness a better word is a sort of um, ability to change to its environment, to adapt to its environment. There's like a book called The Secret Life of Trees, which is which shows that trees actually communicate with each other and they have a very complex system of not only communication but how they get nutrients from the ground and all these types of things. So you could spend a lifetime essentially studying trees. So looking at that, for me as a Muslim, I would say that's design. That's design from the Creator. As an atheist, agnostic, or whatever you are, what would you call it? I don't know. You'd say I don't know. I am agnostic. I do not know how these things happen. So, would you try to justify that or would you try to argue a particular position or are you just going to say I don't know? I would investigate the best I could how these trees communicate with each other. Until I find the conclusion, I would say I don't know. Right, but this is very different to the earlier part of the conversation. You were very keen to talk to me, right? And now you're not giving me a justification for a question I'm asking you. So I'm, I'm trying to understand why your previous enthusiasm is replaced by a bit of pass passive sort of behavior right now. I'm totally enthusiastic. The honest answer I can give is I don't know. Okay, so do you believe atheism is the right position? Yes. Do you believe other people should be atheists as well? No, I believe. No. I believe you're allowed to believe in what you want to believe. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. My, but here, here, here's a thing I'll put out there. I believe atheism is irrational. I believe belief in God is good. 
And I believe everybody else should also believe in God, which is why I try and argue for it. But you don't sound that convinced of atheism. I'm, I'm convinced in my atheism. If you want to believe in what you want to believe, carry on. Okay, so when it comes to, say, biological design, the design of the human body or the design of the ecosystem or the design of, say, anything apart of the human, like the brain, right? A brain is way more complex than, say, supercomputers, and it can generate uh, the sort of juice to calculate certain actions which a vast network of computers can't actually do. And us as human beings, the way we can autofocus using our eyes and the various mechanisms that exist within the body, for me, this cries out a designer. As an atheist, how would you explain that biological design? I don't know. Okay, have you tried to work out where the designers come from? Well, you've inferred there's a design. Can you show me, demonstrate to me there's a designer behind this? It's a simple inference from design to designer. I say it's not. Um, you're implying there is a design and inferring there's a designer. Show, demonstrate the designer. Firstly, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit confused why you're finding it difficult that biological design means there's a designer. Firstly, let, let's, let's take baby steps here. Do you agree there's design in, in, in the biosphere? No. So, a complex system of intricate parts that work together for a purpose and actually achieve that in an efficient way, you're saying that's not design? I'm saying they may give an appearance of design, but is it really a design? They give an appearance of design, explain that. Um, because we are limited in our knowledge, all we can do is infer there's a design to this thing. Okay, so there's a design. But why did you say appearance of design? I said infer that there is a design. Right. So now, so now let, let's, okay, we, we've agreed on something. Charles, was it? Yes. So Charles, so far we agreed there's design. No, I didn't agree. It gives an appearance. And you're inferring that there is a design. Okay, designer. okay, so let, let's go back to this, go back one step. It appears to be designed. Why does it appear to be designed? Because that's all we know. That's all our knowledge. We think that if something is intricate, there is a design to it. So if something quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, flies like a duck, it's a duck. So if something very much is complex, intricate, works to a particular end, and we can, t we can look at things which are designed because we design watches, we design microphones or cameras, why would we not make the same conclusion for something else? Wouldn't that be being inconsistent? You're being consistent, but are you correct? Because being consistent is the correct thing to do. Okay. Okay. So what I'm trying to get at is why are you using words that people like Hitchens, people like Dawkins use like appearance of design rather than design? I'm trying to understand your psychology. Uh, because, as I say, it gives an appearance. But show me the designer, show me the blueprint. You're asking a different question to what we're dealing with right now. You're saying give me the blueprint or show me the designer. What I'm trying to get at is why are you not going from appearance of design to design? Why don't you just call a spade a spade? Because I can't. What's stopping you? The designer. The designer's stopping you? Yes. What do you mean? Can you demonstrate a designer that designed the universe? I'm using design to infer a designer. So, is it a design? Or is it an appearance? I, 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 or does it appear to you that there is a design? So, do you understand why I'm a bit confused about your position? Yes, okay. I'm confused also. But we, yeah, I, I know you're confused, but I'm trying to understand why are you being adamant it's an appearance of design, not design? Because I need to see the designer. Okay, so you're saying until you physically see the designer, you can only say it's appearance of design. Not just physically see, but even a, a logical conclusion. Yeah, and I'm giving you a logical argument. Design means designer. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't sit right with me. Why doesn't it sit right with you? It's, it's too simplistic. Okay, being simplistic, does that mean it's wrong? I never said it was wrong. 
But you know science works on simplicity, right? You yes, understand yeah. that, yeah? yeah? So do you deny science? I do not deny science. So why do you believe in something if it's too simple? Do the... I'm appealing to scientists now. Do all scientists say that the universe has been designed? No. There you go. I'm, on, I'm, I'm with them. Okay, so... Okay, so you're with the scientists? I am with what they are saying. Okay. Is there a designer to the design? Sure. So let's change the variables right now. Right now, scientists, they all don't agree the universe is designed. And you're with the scientists, okay? Yes. So if we go back to, say, the 17th century, or the 10th century, or the 11th, uh, 12th, or 13th, or all these centuries, for the vast majority of human history, scientists did believe that behind nature there was a designer. So if you were alive three, four hundred years ago, and we were, you were to use the criteria you're using now, you would believe in God. Yes. So that just shows you're a product of society. I am. So your beliefs and your values and your morals and your ethics and all of these things are purely arbitrary. Yes. Okay. I'm happy with that. Do you, do you not realize, do you not realize that that's not the right way to live? Uh, according to... According to logic, because essentially your position is that truth is democratic. Uh, what kind of truth? Small truth or capital T truth? Capital T truth, okay. Say the correspondence theory of truth. So a statement corresponds with reality. So I believe that is a tree, that is a tree, that is a truth, okay? So do you believe truth with a capital T is democratic? I'm unsure. You're unsure? Yeah. Um, he's giving you a mic. So what I want to try and understand is, I'm going to make a statement now. Okay. I don't think you're doing a good job selling atheism right now, because it sounds kind of like it's a belief system without any justification. I'm not promoting atheism. Okay. At least... Even if you're not promoting atheism, as someone as that's an atheist, I would say you're making atheists look bad. And? Well, that undermines the fact that your position, well, it undermines atheism essentially. What is my position? Your position is that you're an agnostic or an atheist or whatever. I'm an agnostic atheist. Agnostic what atheist. position does that look like to you? It looks like agnostic atheism. So? What I'm saying is, your position just looks very irrational. Tell me what the, the rationality of it is. There is no rationality to it. There's no rationality. Okay. Because according to your own admission, it's, it's arbitrary. Okay. Okay. I think we can end it there. That's a good conversation. Thank you.